Hi guys, um, my name's Ollie. Uh, I'm essentially a bit of a gaming enthusiast. I've been playing games for many years. Uh, quite new to this YouTube stuff. I've got a few videos up on my channel, but the, the old mess about videos that I've had on there for years. I mean, feel free to browse them, but this is what I want the man new content to be about. Um, <clears throat> the reason I wanted to start doing videos about gaming is because very rarely do I see, even in the pro community and stuff like that, is people playing on ultra widescreen monitors. Now I have a, an ultra widescreen monitor, as you can see in the recording, the resolution is 3840 by 1080p. And uh, this allows for a massive field of view when playing, you're kind of immersed in the game, the, the monitor's curved. Um, it's actually a really, really good way to play games. Now I've it's taken me a long time to get used to it. Um, only because you're used to having such a, a, a smaller screen to look at. It's been hard to get used to, um, especially where a lot of games aren't fully optimised for that resolution. You find that stuff like the um, the map and uh, the kill feed and stuff like that are outside your peripheral a little tiny bit. Whilst it used to be directly in your peripheral, so you could look at your map, you could look at your, your kill feed and monitor those things quite easily. A little bit more difficult on the 3840 by 1080 but you get used to it and you start to uh, compensate for that uh, <clears throat> that peripheral vision. Uh, on the stuff on the side of the map so anyway uh, as the title shows i'm going to be previewing uh gta 5 now i play a lot of games i've main games i play up at the top here uh, as you can see and um, i am trying to record in the best resolution possible i'm going to be adjusting this um i said this is only like a test run for me a kind of an introduction and um, i actually work as a IT engineer for the for the NHS, so I, I deal with computers on a daily basis. It pays quite well, so I'm able to buy stuff like this. Um, as a, as an introduction, I'll give you a quick introduction to the hardware that I'm using, give you an idea of uh, you know what what I'm playing with and how I'm able to play with this resolution and have quite good smooth gameplay and it's consistent gameplay. Now, when it comes to optimization and overclocking, I don't do it. I don't do optimization and overclocking it purely because I don't know enough about it. Maybe one day I'll read up about about it and learn about it, and I will end up doing it. But as of as of yet, no, I've not done any overclocking. But you know, hang tight, guys. Have a look at what I'm playing with here, and you know, I recommend it 120%. And like I said, I've been playing games for a long time. I was on the competitive circuit for Gears of War and Halo back in the day under the gamer tag Random Hobo. Um, I played for. Quite a few clans, um, always getting in a, very, a, a reasonably good standard. Uh, top five in some tournaments. Uh, we came third in one of the first ever Gears of War tournaments. You know, I was never number one, but I was always up there with uh, with the top guys. So I know what it is to have a, something highly optimized. Playing on one millisecond delay screens and stuff like that, it makes a difference. Anyway, let's get into it. So the monitor I'm playing on is this. It's not that one. Let me uh, get rid of these for you. Here we go. So this is the monitor I'm playing on. It's a quad LED uh, gaming monitor from Samsung. Uh, it costs £1,300. Uh, eBay have got a deal on at the moment. Here you go, £1,154. Um, I got very lucky. I got a Black Friday deal. Amazon brought it out. It was like a 10 minute deal. Uh, I got the monitor for about £950. Uh, I had a bit of a moment, bought it straight away. Not look back and not regret it since. Uh, as you can see, yeah, 3840 by 1080p. That's a native resolution. Uh, 32 by 9 super wide aspect ratio. Uh, one millisecond response time. 144 hertz and HDR technology. Now the HDR, I don't know why, but if I turn HDR on, I don't know if it's going to mess with my stream, but we'll, we'll have a look. If I turn HDR on, I get a completely greyed out um, monitor. Now I've tried everything. And I can't get it working. Let's see if it picks it up. No, so it's just gone blank. Um, let's go revert. Let's hope I've not lost my stream. Okay, we're back. So yeah, but if you could see it, it just grays out the whole screen. It looks awful. But to be honest, I don't really tell the difference with HDR anyway. Okay. Uh, the system I'm running on is a 1080 Ti MSI graphics card, uh, and I've got. If you can see a 1080 Ti here, um, my Processor, Intel Core i7 7700K, a really good processor, and I've got a, a 500 gigabyte SSD which I uh, 
I think it makes a massive difference with gaming. Anyway, let's get into it. Now, I've been playing a lot of GTA 5 recently. Um, I think GTA 5 is a beautiful game. It's an excellent game to show off graphics. It's an excellent game to show off something like this because it's optimised perfectly. Probably the best optimised game I've seen for 3840 by 1080p. And it's an ex absolutely excellent demonstration of what this monitor is capable of. I've turned on my FPS counter in the top right hand corner. Um, just to give you an idea of what sort of frames per second I'm getting. Now it does it does go above that. Uh, and I need to optimise the game so I'm getting 144 frames a second. But it's it, I've just not played around with it enough yet. But at the moment I'm quite happy with the way it plays. Very smooth. And you'll see in a moment how beautiful this game actually is. Okay. So... I think the best way to demonstrate this to you guys, uh, and you'll see this in a moment, is I'm going to benchmark it, and you're going to see this game at its full capacity, okay? Um, we can look at the graphics, I've got it on full screen, 3840 by, 10, 3840 by 1080p, uh, 144 hz a second. <clears throat> um, by the way, I'm actually, I have two monitors set up here, I've got one, as you can see here, and I've got another one straight in front of me here, uh, both of Samsung's, this one's obviously the 3840 by 1080p. <clears throat> the way I, I the way I do it, I get I get um, Nvidia to benchmark the game for me straight away. So I optimize for Nvidia, then I play about the settings myself from there. So then I've got uh, something to go off if I ever lose my settings or anything like that. Alright. So, just scroll down, uh, take a look. It's gonna let me. Not even let me do it. There you go. I do have VSync on. I can turn that off. Um, there's no reason why I can't. So most of it is on the ultra, the top settings, you can see there. Uh, it's using the NVIDIA PCSS uh, for the soft shadows. I think that's an optimization that only NVIDIA has uh, to optimize the shadows. Uh, I, I can't really tell the difference, but it's nice to have, I guess. Um, but yeah, we'll, uh, what we'll do is we will benchmark, we'll benchmark test here, and you guys are going to get to see what this game look like, looks like in the highest resolution it can support, more or less. I'm in a cutscene. <laughs> Let's get back into it. Okay. Now, I, as I'm rec I am recording quite high, you know, it's quite demanding on the system recording in, in this resolution as it is. But we shouldn't see too much difference anyway. Hey, Jerry! If it ever lets me record. There we go. Go for it. On benchmark. See, nothing squished. The game is optimized perfectly for this monitor. You can see in the top right, we're hitting frames of about 70 to 80. Um, but this is very demanding, as you can see, anyway. But you know, we'll just keep watching. It's jumping up to 268 and stuff like that only because of the refresh rate of the monitor and V-Sync's turned off. I played this game on Xbox before I bought a PC, and it was beautiful on there. And to buy a PC and, and optimise it and get that get those graphics up to the top end, you can really you know, appreciate how brilliant this game is, how well it's been made. I see here that it's more like artwork than it is a game. Beautiful. the previews I've seen on it as well. I don't see many people 
talking about it or showing it off or anything like that. It's just a recording that they're playing on 3 by 1018. I don't think that's what people want to see. They want to see this game at its best and they want to see someone talk about it, demonstrating it. We'll allow the benchmark just to run straight through, guys. Just see how well this game runs. I mean, it, it's like they, they had it in mind. They wanted people to play this game in this resolution because uh, what you'll see in a minute when the, when the benchmark ends, you actually get the map uh, in the centre of the screen where it's, so it's in your in your peripheral. And there we have it, guys. Now, <clears throat> I've got loads of games, you know, as the channel grows, if it does. You know, I don't know how this is going to go off, but, you know, I know that there is a demand out there for people to be seeing these sort of, um, uh, these sort of videos. Hey. Seeing games played in, in this sort of resolution. It's just so smooth, I love it. Um, there you have it guys. Absolutely beautiful, lovely game. Uh, let me know if you want to see other games like this. I mean, I, I will literally demonstrate any game you guys want to see. I mean, I've got all the ones at the top. League of Legends is a brilliant game to show off in this resolution it's probably the next one i'll do um another good one that's been uh, uh been benchmarked very well it's been optimized very well sorry is uh play unknown battlegrounds you know it, it, it is really really good how they've optimized it and there's games out there that you know have just haven't been optimized for it but we support the resolution anyway and they are good to demonstrate and stuff like that but i mean i, like I said gta 5 is an excellent example of how uh beautiful this game can be i know you use the word a lot beautiful but it really is i do appreciate these these games um <clears throat> i mean i'm looking forward to red dead coming out i can't wait to play that on this monitor it's going to be amazing um and if, if you guys want to know anything more about my setup my headphones my, my keyboard my mouse all that kind of stuff it's all optimized the way i like it <clears throat> I, play, I play games quite a high level i did try the streaming thing for a bit people don't like watching streaming 3840 by 1080 because if you've not got the monitor you can't watch it properly it's like um it, it doesn't look right uh, i do have a, a channel which i stream on but uh, people just tend to cry and moan about the resolution so i kind of stopped doing it <sighs> well that's how we've got it uh, let me know what game you want to see next guys i'm more than happy to uh, demonstrate any game that you want to see uh have a happy easter and i hope you enjoyed the video thanks guys